Welcome to Learn the Sword. Patterns, cutting patterns. They're one of the most difficult aspects of swordsmanship because we don't practice enough of them. You know that when we practice a kata, for example, just say I'm just doing this kata, one, two, three, and then I put away the sword slowly. I work it back in, work my way back to another kata, and I work my way back and forth, and maybe, maybe I might get 15 or 20 cuts in a five minute period of time, which feels good, works good, but you don't have the repetition you need, especially if you weren't born and raised in swordsmanship. Now, if you were a five-year-old Japanese kid and you went to the ranks in Kendo and then using wood, then Iaido and Tamashigiri and all that, you have all the practical application you need. But as a general rule with Western people, they don't start the sword until they're basically adults or a little older because they're paying for it themselves. So you might find out that you might be 25 to 60 years old and then all of a sudden you're going, well, yeah, I don't know how that cut works. I'm trying so hard, my wrist hurts, my arm hurts, I just don't get it. Well, the main reason is, is because you didn't start when you were five years old. So what I want to introduce to you is the Hapogiri. And a lot of you know about it, a lot of you practiced it. I've been practicing it for years and years and years and I will into the future because it gives me the practical application I need to keep my arms and experience and the rope memory running true. So there are eight different angles that we work with. Now most people who practice Hapogiri and you've seen it all through the websites and those aspects just work on one plane so they see and it's a basic eight cuts. It's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven and the stab is eight. For example, those are eight basic cuts. But that's only on one little area. What happens when you're over here? Or what happens when you're over here? How do you turn on a dime and create a good Migi Kesagiri or downward diagonal cut? So you have to remember, setting up is way more important than executing the cut because if your setup and foundation isn't strong, neither will be the cut. So this next series I'm going to introduce to you is called the Miyamoto Motor. It's just because it's been done for centuries and what I want you to understand is start working this and start going back and forth on the different cuts, then working on the different angles of the cuts and working back and forth and then all of a sudden you'll be doing this Hapogiri series. It will give you at least 30 to 35 cuts a minute. So now you can see the difference. 20 cuts in five minutes or about 30 cuts a minute. You can see that your practical application and experience on your rope memory will really set things up really, really fast. And that's the most important part, especially if you haven't been doing swordsmanship your whole life.